Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam, or some call me Sam I am. I am really glad you're here with me tonight. I'm ready to do a project. And ordinarily I use a number generator app. It's an app on just Google, just Google number generator and it's the first thing that pops up. I normally use that to get my colors for my project. However, every now and then I have my own ideas that I don't need the number generator to help me get my colors. I am indecisive. I have trouble choosing colors. That's why I came up with the idea of using the number generator. And it's so cool. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, I have 588 colors. So I enter the parameters of one through 588 and I'll hit generate to get random numbers pulled. And generally I use four and four numbers that are generated to make my project. And I can add any additional colors or any embellishments and I can pick the project. Just in order to help me, guide me, I just have to use the four colors that are generated. And I can call a mulligan if it looks like I can't do anything with the colors that were generated or one or more of them just you know, will not work with anything I add or try and blend with it. So I'll call a mulligan and I'll generate a new color to replace that one. And sometimes I have to do it on more than one color. It's just how it goes. But it's so much fun. It's a challenge too, to see what I can mix with what, to see if I can get something that'll go with this and that. It's just cool. It really is. But like I said, I every now and then have a project in mind with the colors I want to use without the number generator and today is one of those days or night is one of those nights I am going to be oh first things first the best beautiful color I have tonight it's one of my favorites and I just got it in I ordered it I ordered it for my special angel and a and is supporting the channel through PayPal and she gets an honorary color with her name on it on my channel. So she has McCall Blue Green. So this color from now on will be known as Anne A, otherwise known as McCall Blue Green. She said she was like me, she liked the blue, so a dark ocean blue would be great. And I saw this one and it was on sale, you know, being thrifty with the support, that's always good. And um, so I got it. I picked it up. I was like, yes, I love this color. And I'm sure Anne will too. Well, I'm hoping anyway. Anne, let me know. Send me a comment. Let me know. So what are we going to do with this McCall Blue? Oh, excuse me. What are we going to do with Anne? Let me show you. We're going to use my new mold. This. If you can see, it dips down. It's a little tray mold. It's already wavy. So what I've done is stuck these beautiful shells in. I think their spiral shells will be perfect. I love them. I, I, they're cone shells. I'm not quite sure what the name, proper name of them is. I guess I could have looked that up if I was doing a real educational tutorial, I reckon. I don't know. They're pretty shells. That's all I know. So what I'm going to do, I've already mixed up eight ounces of my resin of choice, which is Clearcast 7000 from the epoxy resin store. It's VOC free. It cures crystal clear. It's one to one ratio by volume. And another good thing, it's budget friendly. Oh yeah, very much so. I love it. I love it. Love it. I get it five gallons at a time. Okay. So now, what I was thinking, if I move these up a little bit, I could do them like scattered, huh? That might be better. Not all the same. What do y'all think? Good? That looks funny. That looks funny. Okay, I don't really like them like that. Okay, but if I left a little room at the rear, 
of the shell, this end, then I could put these cool little things that I got from Laura's Art Corner. They're sparkle diamonds. What do y'all think? Because look, I'm going to put a layer of clear to, for this to be clear. So when you flip it over, you'll see the shells and then a layer of clear. And then underneath that, the next layer, I'm going to use Anne. So the bottom layer, the last thing you're going to see is Anne. So my question is, number one, should I put some dazzling white holographic in the clear? And while I'm at it, put some of these holographic or iridescent, I think that's more holographic, down here by the shells. What do y'all think? Cool? I just think it looks a little plain. I need something. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me get a spoon. I need a spoon, please. Oh my goodness, come on. I'm picking up everything but the spoon I need. I think these will look good. Give a little something, something. And shells aren't cheap. So if you're going to use them, you want to make sure it's fabulous. Not just, okay. That's okay. You want, wow, that is really good. Or, wow, man, I love it. How gorgeous is that? And you could be ready with your thank yous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feeling pride. It's nice to have pride. Not being over cocky, but showing pride in your work. It feels good to hear good things about your work. Yeah, these little guys are cute. This is actually the second jar I got of these from Laura's Art Corner. I just liked them. And used them up. Started using them in more and more things. Oops. A little too much in that one. I was in a daydream there for a minute. <gasps> Told y'all I was like in a daydream again. What in the world? Space Cadet today. In Houston, we got a problem. See, my am is checked out. <laughs> we are flying the ship solo. Okay. I like that. Do you like it? Hmm. What you think? Huh? Huh? What you think? I think it looks fast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So now I already have the resin made up. Now my question still remains. Do I put in dazzling white holographic? Something's telling me yes, because we just have the McCall, I mean the Anne. We don't have any other color. So I think I'm going with it. I'm going to do it.
Oh yeah, look at that. I think we're gonna be so happy we decided to do this. See, not a lot, just a little bit. Just to know it's there. I'm not quite sure why my resin's got all these bubbles in it, but I'm not very happy about it. I hope when I decant it, they shoe fly shoe. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I thought this mold was really pretty. Yeah, I think this is gonna look really good, y'all. I was a little disappointed at the size of it. You know, everything's so much bigger online. Then you get it home and you're like, what? Really? This is it? So, this is it. I guess it's about seven inches. Something like that. Going good. And what I have on the resin curing plate should be ready so I can throw this one on there. We won't have to wait very long. Oh, I overfilled this over here. Well, we got a floater over there. That ain't gonna work. Your little butt's gonna have to go somewhere. I'm not playing that game. No sir, Rebob. Tom, Dick, or Harry. Nope. They ain't gonna play your game. All right. It looks like it's about even all the way around. Oh, we need a little more in this one. Oh, sugar pops. Actually, that's perfect. Man, that's good. Uh, we got to fix this floater, though. I'll do that while I'm gone. While you're gone, while we're on hold, while we're away from each other. I will take care of this problem. It will no longer be of a concern for us. So just um, hang on and I'll be back with our cured clear and we'll move on to the next step. Good morning or good half a second. I am well rested. Very excited to come out here and see our project. Wait till you see what's under here. It turned out really, really good. I added a couple things while we were apart. Just a little smidgy thing. So you ready? How pretty is that? <gasps> Look at it. See, I went through and I added some more sparkle through there. Oh, that one didn't make it down in there. That's all right. Oh, I got it out. Yeah, so I thought that added just a little something. I think it's beautiful, guys. With this color on top, it's just going to make it. Okay. So we're using Ann, formerly known as McCall Blue Green um, by Eye Candy. But we now know it from our angel, Ann. So thank you, Ann. I hope you like your color. Here we go on this beautiful project. 
And I know I'm gonna have to make up more. My cup wasn't big enough. I mean, I guess I could have used a bigger cup, but you know, you're used to something and you just go with it. I don't know. I might be able to get away with just this little bit. It's covering it. Huh. Oh, no, I got to cover that thing. All right. Mix up a little more. I had it ready, which I had mixed up 12 ounces of my resin of choice, which is ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. And this is how I do my mica or pigment powder. I like to put a little bit in the cup, then add a little bit of resin. This is the easy peasy. Oh, I hate that saying. I don't know why I've been saying it lately. This is very easy. Oh, look, I got to remember. I got to, I got to, I got to. Got, if you've never been here before, I used to be straight up my angle. And I had a, a couple of people tell me it was hard to see. And I certainly don't want what I'm doing to be hard to see. So I went this way with it. And I've gotten reviews that it was good. I can only go by what others tell me. I'm just mixing this up real good. All right. I really love this color. When Ann told me what her um, preference for color was, I knew what I wanted, or roundabout what I wanted. This was definitely in the top five. And then to find it on sale, that just sealed the deal. Sold to Sam I am for Miss Ann, her angel. All right. And hopefully this is enough. Am I supposed to cover that bad boy? I don't have much more room. I guess I'm not supposed to cover it. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't have enough room to cover it. So that must not need to be covered. I got a little more I can add in here. That's it. That's all she wrote. Let me see. Quickly and efficiently so you don't burn your mold or your resin. And see these bubbles. just keep coming back and checking this for the next 10 minutes or so so we are bubble free we want Ann's bowl to be bubble free all right I'm gonna throw this on the resin curing plate it should probably since it's thick probably be ready in about an hour not that you'll know because it'll only be a uh, what half a second a blink of an eye just a momento, not even a mento, momento. Just hold on and blink your eye and I'll be right back. Hey, it's me. I'm back with our little projects. Put them on the resin curing plate. They were done in two hours. Let's check this out. I am super excited about it. I really want it to turn out good for Anne with her new color. And it's a little soft on the ends. Don't look. I'm not gonna look either. I have that sticky part over here. Oh wow. Oh wow y'all. 
I'm looking. Now I'm going to show y'all. Look at how pretty that is. I don't understand why there's a hole in the middle, but it's beautiful. I'm not exactly sure what you use it for. I guess I can make a clock out of it. I don't know. I don't know why there's a hole in the middle of it. I filled it up as much as I could. All right, let's get this little bowl out. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's up with that. I'm going to do a little research on it. I'll pull it up and see what it says. I thought it just said wavy plate. Getting this little bowl out. Got to put it up against my chest. It's a bosom bowl. Uh-uh. Shoot. I got to put that back on the resin curing plate. Look at that. Oh, no. I'm going to put that on real quick. But isn't that cute? Hopefully I can fix this. Alright, gang. Oh, hang on. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to research this. I figured it out. Look what I did. I used one of these little flat back things. You know these. And I UV resin it on there. How awesome is that? I think it turned out just perfect. I love it. I hope you love it, Miss Ann. Let me know in the comments what you think about your color in the first project that I did with your color. Ann's tray. I think it's lovely. I love it. And if you guys think it turned out well, give me a thumbs up. While you're there, maybe go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, by clicking in the right-hand corner, that subscribe button, that's a clickable link. And that'll subscribe you. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure helps me and my channel out. A couple things of business. I am doing a giveaway for subscribers. Once I reach 500, I will be doing the giveaway. All the details are down in the description. I'm also doing an honorary program. Uh, a program of honorary color with your name on my channel. That's for showing support through PayPal. If you'd like to do that and have an honorary color in your name, just read all the details down in the description. I surely, surely, and most definitely appreciate it. You'll never know. Or maybe you will know. So, with this, this is all I have for today. Until next time, love you much. See ya. Bye.